Hot and windy conditions across the valley continue. You're looking west along Interstate 94 as we head into the weekend. Well, it is very hot. 94 degrees were down one degree from an hour ago and winds picking up in intensity a little bit, gusting to 43 miles per hour. There out of the south, it's a dry heat with the humidity down around 25%. 95 the temperature this hour in Cavalier, Grand Forks. Roseau was in the upper 70s today. Now, or upper 90s today, now 93. We have 90 degrees through Lakes Country, 89 for Babe the Blue Ox, and it's 92 in Stutzman County. A couple of thunderstorms, non-severe, rumbling their way uh, across and, well, basically eastbound along the international border. A very hot air mass in place over the central Dakotas and cold air clashing with this warm, more humid air starting to fire some thunderstorms in southeast Montana. There is a risk of severe weather this evening and into the overnight, mainly in southern and western parts of North Dakota where you see the oranges. But anywhere in the yellow or green, by the time we go through the late night and overnight hours, we could see some stout thunderstorms in our neck of the wood, mainly with hail and damaging straight line winds. The threat, here's how it times out. First of all, this evening, if you're heading out and about, the only area concerned for thunder showers tonight up in northeast North Dakota and the northern Red River Valley. The rest of us stay quite breezy and warm. As we go through the overnight hours, storms forming in the western Dakotas will really blossom and push from the James River Valley right into parts of north central portions of the Red River Valley. So that's where the overnight threat will be. By the early hours tomorrow, these will be exiting and diminishing, but the wind picks right back up. We start around 70 degrees, and this is where the forecast gets a little bit uh, uh, questionable. If we have clouds and rain showers around, we won't get all that warm, but in areas where we have sunshine, those south winds could very well heat us back up to 85 to 90 degrees in the early part of the day. And then the cold front moves through. See the cold air back behind the cold front? 57 in Minot as that shovels into this warm, moist air mass. Afternoon thunderstorms from the Red River Valley into Minnesota could be severe, but will contain areas of locally heavy rain in excess of an inch and a half to two inches. So the risk for thunderstorms for our area increases tomorrow and into tomorrow evening, mainly midday and into the early overnight. So we start out near 70 with a few clouds. We warm up the winds gust to around 40 miles per hour. As we go through the mid afternoon hours, the thunderstorms begin developing as the cold front makes its way through. The winds do a switcheroo, become northwesterly as we go into the evening. The storms will exit, but the cold air will punch in. Temperatures are going to be all over the board tomorrow. Devil's Lake Basin near 60. We'll have things ramping up to the 80s tomorrow as we look into Lakes Country and Fargo and points south and east. And Barbara Wyman capturing a little bit of everything. A setting sun, the train tracks, and a thunderstorm in that picture of the day. Thanks so much for sharing your view of the Hankinson area. All right, after the cold front moves through, we'll have cooler weather in the 60s for most areas on Sunday. And it will be breezy from the northwest. As we go into next week, overall, I'm expecting cooler weather as a uh, chance of rain reappears on Tuesday into Wednesday. So a little bit more seasonable if you've been a little tired of the heat. And some people are, aren't they? Indeed. Yeah, yes. thanks, Sachi.